by BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So with one of the more recent updates to the Google Chrome web browser for desktop, as I have been posting, Google has been rolling out a new layout and redesign, which brings a more modern look and feel to the app homepage. So this is where all your PWAs, your progressive web apps, um, are found if you have installed um, web apps in Google Chrome. And this is the PWA's app homepage, as many of you will know. And this is part of the Chrome refresh for 2023, where we are getting a more fluent kind of material you redesign. And some of those are already starting to roll out to the stable version. And this has been one of those where the PWA's app homepage, those icons and favicons, as we can see, um, have a kind of rounded shape and a fluent design. Now, um, if we head to the stable version, and my reason for showing you this um, is because this is in Chrome Canary, but this is how it was up until recently in the stable version. But if we head to the stable version now, I have noticed of late that as part of the Chrome refresh for 2023, uh, Google now is taking this one step further, where um, if we head to the apps homepage once again in the stable version, I have noticed that the icons and favicons for the actual PWAs, as we can see, are much smaller. And I have posted on this before when it was still very much in preview. So this looks like now Google is working on this and actually pushing this out now as a much larger rollout for the Chrome refresh when it comes to how the favicons and the icons look on the PWA app homepage in the desktop browser. So I have noticed that this is a server-side update. I've only seen it in my stable version of Google Chrome on one of my two devices. So it seems to be on a controlled server-side update. And just bringing it to your attention um, in case you were unaware or hadn't noticed. Now, one thing this does over and above bringing um, a more modern look and feel, which I actually quite like, is something practically, practically that it actually does bring to the table is it makes it easier to browse and access your installed web apps without having to click through multiple pages. Because currently, if you have multiple uh, web apps installed, um, you have to scroll horizontally through a whole lot of different pages. But with this redesign, it's more like mobile because you can see it just packs everything into a more compact space. And with this redesign, you'll be able to scroll up and down vertically, which I actually think is a much better option and just collates everything to kind of um, be the same across all the different platforms when it comes to the apps and when it comes to your desktop and your mobile. So just bringing this to your attention. And I actually think oh, I like this modern um, look and feel. This is how it currently is. And this used to be a while back. Um, these used to be more of a square look and feel. And you can see, as mentioned in one of the more recent updates, Google made this a little bit more fluent. And now we can see it's even becoming even more fluent and a, a lot smaller. Now, I don't know if this is Google A-B testing this, um, but for now I'm seeing it and it's staying um, on one of, one of my devices. It's been there for um, a good couple of days now. But just in case you don't like this um, new redesign with the smaller apps, um, you actually can disable this um, in case you don't want to um, see this new layout and this visual redesign change. We can disable the experimental flag for this feature. So to do this, um, we just head to our um, address bar and we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And the flag we are looking for is um, desktop. I'm just going to type this in quickly. PWAs app. There we go. So it's desktop PWA's app homepage and the description reads use new Chrome apps page which has different UX on desktop as mentioned. And you can see the do default now brings these new changes. So obviously this is a default setting now that's been um, applied and a default feature that's been applied now. So to disable and bring back the more older look, you just click on that flag, select disabled, and now we'll have to actually relaunch the stable version of Google Chrome. And now if we go back to the uh, the app homepage, you will see it takes on the so-called older look. And as mentioned, that's how we started off the video. So very similar. And if you don't want the new look as mentioned, you can just dis disable that flag. And I'll actually leave that flag in the description for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.